we are going to fourth question simplify and give reasons first bit 4 power 0 plus 5 power 1 minus 1 into 5 square into 1 by 3 that is equal to we know that a power 0 equal to 1 a power minus m equal to 1 by a power m therefore 4 power 0 is 1 plus 5 power minus 1 is 1 by 5 into 5 square into 1 by 3 that is equal to 6 by 5 Into five square into one by three. Three twos are six. Five fives are twenty-five. So the answer is ten. Second bit. One by two whole power minus three into one by four whole power minus three into one by five whole power minus three. We know that a power m into b power m. Is equal to a b whole power m, and one by a whole power minus m is equal to a to the power of m. Using these two formulae, we can write that the answer is one by two into one by four into one by five whole to the power of minus three. That is equal to one by forty. Whole power minus three. That is equal to forty q. Third bit. Two power minus one plus three power minus one plus four power minus one into three by four. That is equal to using a power minus m equal to one by a power m formula. We can write two power minus one as one by two plus one by three plus one by four into three by four. That is equal to twelve is the LCM. Two six zero plus three four zero plus four three zero into three by four. That is equal to thirteen by twelve into three by four. Three four zero. That is equal to thirteen by sixteen. Is the answer fourth bit? Three power minus two by three into three power zero minus three power minus one. It is equal to eight to the power of minus m equal to one by eight to the power of m. One by three square into three into three power zero. Is one minus one by three. It is equal to one by three q into two by three. That is equal to two by three power four. It is equal to two by eighty one. Let us move on to the fifth one. One plus two power minus one. Plus three power minus one plus four power zero. That is equal to one plus a power minus m is one by a power m. A power zero is one. One plus one by two plus one by three plus one. That is equal to two plus five by six. That is equal to seventeen by six. Three by two to the power of minus two whole to the power of two. A by B whole to the power of minus m is equal to B by A whole to the power of m. Using this formula, we can rewrite this as three by two to the power of two whole to the power of three by two power minus two whole to the power of two is equal to two by three. Whole to the power of two, whole square, that is equal to two by three to the power of four, that is equal to sixteen by eighty one. Fifth problem, first bit. 
3 square minus 2 square divided by 1 by 5 whole square. Here 3 square is 9 minus 2 square is 4 divided by 1 by 5 whole square. That is equal to 5 divided by 1 by 5 whole square. If we are dividing by a fraction, we should multiply it with the reciprocal. 5 into 5 square. That is equal to 25 whole square. That is equal to 625. Second bit. 5 square whole cube into 5 power 4 divided by 5 power 6 that is equal to 5 a to the power of m whole to the power of n equal to a to the power of mn therefore it is 5 to the power of 6 into 5 to the power of 4 divided by 5 to the power of 6 that is equal to 5 to the power of 6 plus 4 a to the power of m into a to the power of n equal to a to the power of m plus n. So, divided by 5 power 6 that is equal to 5 to the power of 10 divided by 5 to the power of 6. a to the power of m by a to the power of n equal to a to the power of m minus n. That is equal to 5 to the power of 10 minus 6 that is equal to 5 to the power of 4 that is equal to 625. Moving on to 6th question. Find the value of n. 2 by 3 whole to the power of 3 into 2 by 3 whole to the power of 5 is equal to 2 by 3 whole to the power of n minus 2. Here since all the bases are equal we will equate the exponents. 3 plus 5 is equal to n minus 2. Therefore, n minus 2 equal to 8, n equal to 10. Minus 3 whole to the power of n plus 1 into minus 3 whole to the power of 5 is equal to minus 3 whole to the power of minus 4. Again, all the bases are equal on both LHS and RHS, so we can equate the exponents n plus 1 plus 5 is equal to minus 4 minus 4 n plus 6 is equal to minus 4 n equal to minus 4 minus 6 therefore n equal to minus 10 third bit 7 to the power of 2n plus 1 divided by 49 is equal to 7 cube. We can write 49 as 7 square equal to 7 cube. This is what is given now. So, this is equivalent to 7 to the power of, since the bases are equal, we can equate the exponents. So, 7 power 2n plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 7 to the power of 3. 2n plus 1 minus 2 equal to 3. 2n minus 1 equal to 3, 2n equal to 4, plus n equal to 2. 